<laughs> if your first enemy is not yourself, you have not been taking notes, my friend. So like, this is the basic premise of the video. You have a shadow, you have darkness in your mind. Not everybody's darkness is gonna be as strong as yours or even mine, perhaps, depending on who you are. Um, it doesn't really matter. If, if your darkness is consuming you, consuming your actions, and it's not your fault, it isn't your fault. You don't wanna go into shadow debt. When you go into shadow debt, it is very hard to overcome this encumbering aspect of being consumed by darkness. The only way out is to inject goodness into the world. All these ideas that catapult generations into the next, collapse civilizations, they're really important and it's time we actually notice and talk about these things. Usually the concepts like heaven and hell are interesting. Concepts like demons and angels, you know, it's all very cool. And uh, you can root it to many things if you're clever enough. For the most part, we're gonna talk about the shadow, all right? Your shadow. You want a layman's definition of what the shadow is. It is what makes good people feel like not so good people. So, I want you to keep that in mind. You might be a very good person. See, you encounter darkness that isn't really of your own volition. This is not something you create and put out into the world. Sometimes it's other people's darkness, other people's insecurities, sort of you sponging off of that. Even things like thought insertion with the ghosts. Telepathy, very much a real thing. I'd say uh, just keep it in mind, all right? In the back of your head. I mean, you're not to be held accountable for thinking these things. If you guys can tell, I'm sick. I have contained illness. I keep getting ill. I think I've had jabroni like three times. <laughs> Probably annoy a lot of people. Yeah, I got boosted. Every time I got boosted, uh, it basically ruined me. So I've had a lot of time to think about the shadow and analyze and study its mechanics. What are your s symptoms of this shadow? What are the symptoms, all right? You probably wanna know, just so you can cross-check, cross-examine that we're on the same page here, which you'll probably already know that we are, but uh, if you need to know, then the first one is intrusive thoughts. Pretty much everyone is susceptible to this. You encounter darkness, uh, depending on what it is, if it really strikes a personal chord with you, you could get thoughts that sort of deconstruct your social energy. Intrusive thoughts can sometimes be comedic, depending on how darkened your mind is. The sanity meter and amnesia. If your mind looks like something like that, wherever I put the graphic. If it's blatantly not something you've encountered or think about, then it could be thought insertion. Sometimes things that come into your mind are not necessarily from in this world. <laughs> Number two on the symptoms list is focusing on negatives. This is more of a self-contained thing, or at least sometimes I view this as optimization. And it's not always optimization, meaning it is needed. It, it can be a needless optimization, but sometimes you see the ills and follies of the world in a different light, in a way that you can experience suffering you once did not. Like I said, it's not your fault. Sometimes you need a little bit of a kick to feel good again. Uh, which means like something good to happen in your life, right? Not, not any, not, <laughs> no, no derg, all right? No. All right, number three, anxiety or paranoia. Some of you guys are anxious, little budding. You guys are really anxious, all right? Some of you guys get anxiety and paranoia. This is also a result or a symptom of the shadow. So tips on how to reduce the shadow. It grows in power, like I said. Curiosity kills a cat. We're gonna get into that in a minute, but the first thing you can do to reduce the power of your shadow is to get sleep. Like I said before, you don't get sleep, you're gonna encounter more corrupted ideas. It is in your best interest to avoid this as much as possible. So next, clean up your language. You wanna talk the way you walk, all right? You wanna talk uh, with <laughs> swag and enticing maneuvers. Your shadow is definitely influenced by comedy. Sometimes we shed light on certain ideas with comedy, sort of darker ideas, uh, depending on who you are and what kind of comedy you like. Uh, it's all very subjective, but at the same time, like I said before, discern your limit on comedy. So next next thing, influential, influenced by media. Scrolling news feeds take advantage of you. Anywhere people share ideas is a breeding ground for Darkness, all right, depending on where it is it's, as far as knowledge is concerned like there are some things that are so Insanely dark you can't do anything about 
that is never gonna help you to know. But like I said, all these things build armor for your shadow. It's good to shut things out that you don't wanna see. I wanna end on a quote. And that is, we've all got both light and dark inside of us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. All right, so how you choose to act that's the most important part. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this fantastic episode of Soapbox. You guys know my name by now. All right. All of them. I don't know how many of them. You have a good day. All right. Put some goodness into this world. All right. We all need it. I'm counting on you. Bye. <laughs>